Two tonight firefighters coping with the sudden loss of one of their own. Roy Sewell Jr. was driving a fire truck Monday running on an emergency call when that truck crashed in Claiborne County. The veteran firefighter spent almost a decade on the volunteer force in North Tazewell. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot spoke with the fire chief about how the department and the community are responding to the loss of a friend, husband and father. The North Tazewell Fire Department chief tells me Roy Sewell Jr. died driving these narrow roads with the small shoulders here in Claiborne County. This, you're volunteering to come when you're called. He gave his life to the community. Roy was an incredible human being. For his entire adult life. Uh, represents the best we can be. Roy Sewell Jr. joined the North Tazewell Fire Department when he was 18. His neighbor across the road, friend of his, had a, they had a fire that burned down their house and he decided at that point to be a fireman. Escorted by a fire truck when he married his bride, Randy. That smile, that joy carried through his time at the fire department. Making just, just dumb dad jokes kind of thing, you know, that, that kind of, just that kind of stuff of just trying to have a good time. A loss for the department for the community and for the chief. You blame yourself for that because not he didn't he didn't come home. Leroy Brandt remembers the man who would help anyone. Occasionally somebody needed money to help pay rent. He would he would if he had it, he would share it. The man who as a teenager volunteered to put his life at risk, he died at 27 answering his final call. That you're stepping up to say I'm I'll be there when you need me. And that that's embodies Roy. I mean, like it, it, his, his last call on the radio was, where do you need me? Yeah, the fire chief says his department is still working out those final arrangements so they can give their captain the proper send off back to you.